I feel like I always try to get the the lava lamp going for these videos and then I just feel like I always epically fail so I'm sorry that it looks like a great big blob but I need to like start preheating that because it, it, it takes quite a bit of time to reheat before um, before the video so I feel like I need to do that more. Why hello beautiful people of YouTube my name is Natalie the purple wall hat is on right now and we as by you can tell we are talking about the Disney dining plan in my review of a Disney dining plan because on my last trip to Walt Disney World I have yet I have never used a dining plan whatever experience before in my life normally I don't do them because I like to eat when I want to eat when I want to eat however that all kind of changed because this time it was included so I got my first glimpse of a taste of a Disney dining plan and I'm going to give my review to you. So we are going to get right on in this video in three, two, one, boom. So first off I booked my trip with my husband to Walt Disney World and we decided to stay in the All Star Sports Resort. We booked it back in February. When we booked it in February, they had a summer meal plan deal thing that it also, our stay, came with a quick service Disney dining plan for 2018. So if it's included, I felt like, all right, let's give it a go. We have a couple of included meals. Let's give it a shot. So if you have never used the Disney dining plan before like I have, or if you have used the Disney dining plan multiple times in your life, um, I really applaud you because I think it's kind of confusing and by the end of the trip I I got better at it but I still messed up somehow so anyway here's how it works so depending on what type of Disney dining plan you have you get credits once we checked in um, the woman at the front desk lobby she gave me a sheet of paper with each of how many credits we had so we were saying six days per person so that gave us 12 credits to use however we wanted rewind 12 quick service credits to ha to use however we wanted i feel like i have to be very specific when i talk about the disney dining plan because it can get really confusing um so anyway we had 12 credits between both of us and she said we could use it however we wanted so if we wanted to go to a quick service restaurant in say Magic Kingdom, we could go to breakfast at Be Our Guest, lunch at Casey's and use a credit, and then go to dinner somewhere else that's also quick service. Um, what most people don't know is that as of right now, summer 2018, because the rules will be changing, Be Our Guest restaurant is still considered a quick service restaurant. However, a dessert is extra so you have to pay extra for a dessert so don't be, feel free you know always get your gray stuff it's delicious it's also a cupcake um but just know that your drink and your meal is only that's included in your disney dining plan and not the cupcake for that specific restaurant rewinding again one of the first meals that we had on our trip was actually at um our our resort itself at all star sports and so we picked out our meals. I got to the cash register and I said, did I do it right? I said, I have the summer package meal Disney dining plan. What do I do here? And they said, you can pick an entree. For, this is all included in, in one credit, okay? An entree, a bottled drink, or a dessert. Okay, so between the two of us, we had two entrees. And then I decided to get a bottle of Smart Water and then a dessert because the desserts are huge and you can always just share, right? That sounds really good. So we really did that between the two of us. So we ate, um, the first night we had, he had a chicken pot pie, I had a chicken Caesar salad, we got a bottle of Smart Water and one of the best cheesecakes I've ever had at Disney. It was like this big, it was so cute and it had a little strawberry on top, it was really good. So that counted as two credits that we used for that day. The second day we monorail hopped and we did a bunch of resort hopping and things like that and we actually ended up eating at Captain Cook's um, restaurant at the Polynesian. P.S. They have the most phenomenal nachos I have ever had. I'm a huge nacho girl. I love it. Please go get their nachos. They're so good. <laughs> So I forgot what Christopher got. Uh, I think he got a burger or something. I got the nachos 
And then we also got a bottle of water and a dessert, which I got the Millennial Pink Cupcake. Woo! All about those Instagram trends. Another thing to point out is that in some quick service meal plans, sometimes the resort mugs are included. If you don't know what a resort mug is, here's one right here. So for example, all of these are available at each individual resort. Some dining meal plans include a mug. Our meal plan did not include a mug. So these mugs are only good at the resorts. Um, and they were fillable mugs, so they are good until the end of your stay. Maybe a little, a little bit past it, actually. Um, and they are unlimited refills, coffee, tea, soda, water, whatever you want. So on our resort hopping day, what we actually did is um, we got one of these. And that way, we, when we went to the resorts and for lunch, we actually got it refilled with some sodas and some waters. And we were able to take it with us along on the monorail into the different resorts. So, we, you know, we stayed hydrated. Um, and then when we, by the time we got back to our resort, we could also stop by the lobby and in the cafeteria and get a refill before we head back to the room. Part of me says that I do not recommend these bringing into the parks because they don't work, but however, if you have water bottles that you share with other members of your family, sure, you can go ahead and bring it, especially if you have a stroller or a backpack with you. I'm morally, I like to bring a fanny pack with me or just a small light purse, so therefore I don't normally bring these to the parks with me, but my husband had a larger bag and then he also had like a carabiner clip on his bag, so he, we decided to bring this along with us to the park days and that way we could, um, fill up, you know, with either um, water fountains, things like that, or if we had a couple of sodas to share, we could just kind of like get some ice and just put it in there. We just, we kind of messed around with it, but uh, that way we always had kind of like a cup with us and we could just rinse it out and clean it out, but these are only good at the resorts. So, and our meal plan did not come with a mug. We bought this extra. I really, really like it. I like how it comes with like the little gates. It's like, yeah, we're going to Walt Disney World. I like how they added Donald on this cell phone. You know, he's like taking a picture of the entrance. I just, I really enjoy that. I think that's really cute. <laughs> we're gonna put this right there so you guys can see it. Comes with a little handle. So we actually used our meal plan primarily for breakfast. Um, I really like Mickey waffles at the beginning of the day, so that's pr that's really what we used it on. And that way we were able to get, um, we were able to use one credit a day. Also, a big shout out to this wonderful, wonderful magical person who actually bought both of our breakfasts one morning because they were, um, they had too many credits and they were going to leave and they asked me if we could they could buy our our breakfast and I said sure so they actually bought our our quick service um meal plan and used their credits on our food so we actually had extra credits just to do whatever we wanted throughout the park so a huge thank you to those kind people that did that so thank you so much wherever you are we really really appreciate it and thank you so much so as I wrap up this video, what are my final thoughts about the Disney dining plan? I really think it's all up to you. I think if you want the more um, inclusiveness to your park experience, you know, if you're already paying up front for a meal plan, go for it. I think if I had five kids with me or if I had five teenagers, I would get a, a, like a quick service meal plan. That way they could just go and do whatever they wanted. And then I would say, like, okay, let's meet up for dinner, you know, stuff like that. Um, if I had, if I was definitely traveling with a big family or large groups of people, absolutely, I would highly recommend a dining plan and looking into more of what your dining plan options would be. But for me personally, going into the parks, I like to go to the parks and I like to look out those little specific, um, new and exciting things. So, for example, Millennial Pink Cupcake or Cattail or LeFou's Brew, those are my favorite things, or, you know, just, I like to do different types of snacks, um, rather than do a, a big sit-down meal, because I think the snacks are more fun, especially when you're on vacation, but as far as the experience altogether, I actually really enjoyed having a quick service, um, meal plan because it was already taken care of, I didn't have to pay for it extra, I was already just added on to my account, 
and I'd already paid for it because I paid for my trip before we even went. So in that aspect, I really liked it because I didn't have to have extra money with me to pay for, say, breakfast every day, um, which that would have been, you know, an extra $25, $30, you know, having two adult meals, two bottles of water, you know, with us. So it was kind of interesting in different ways. Some ways I liked, some ways I didn't, but I did like it to have it for every day for breakfast. Um, we did use it at Be Our Guest, and we did buy our cupcakes extra, and we used it at the Polynesian, but mostly we used it for breakfast. Um, and for that, I would highly recommend it, especially if you have a bunch of people and that's all that they get is, you know, here's your choice options. I also recommend it if you are planning to stay at the resort a lot more. Um, than being in the parks a whole day. Um, I like to be in the parks pretty much from open to close. <laughs> so, so that's just, it, it all depends on what you like to do in the parks. So that is my review of the, the summer pa meal package 2018 Disney dining plan, quick service Disney dining plan. I, I liked it. I liked it. I thought it was different. I never used it before. So there's that. I would, I would use it again if it was included and if it was the right price if it wasn't included. So I don't know how much they are. This one was just included in the summer meal deal um, that I got with my tickets for my hotel room. So who's to say? So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked what you see, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Um, and click that subscribe button and get that bell going so that you get all the notifications of all of my upcoming videos. Um, if you like dog tricks and Disney tips, go ahead and hit that subscribe because I love new subscribers. And you can also leave me a comment down below. Do you recommend the Disney dining plan? Have you used it before? Have you never used it before? What are your thoughts? I want to know. Let's have a conversation. Let's do this together. So yeah, so once again, my name is Natalie. This is my channel, Dog Tricks and Disney Tips. I am so glad that you stopped by to see this video. Um, and I can't wait to talk to y'all again soon. So until next time, thanks guys. Purple Wall Hat is out.